to a new feature release from us at Zendler. So now you can apply coupons for pricing plans. So uh, this is really great. Uh, what I've done here is I've got a course uh, that I've set up here and I've got a yearly subscription and I've got a price of £10 over um, course of you know each year and I've got a one-time payment of a hundred and I've got four payments of 30 for a payment plan so now we are able to actually hit or target the pricing plan inside of a course or courses with coupons uh, inside Zenla so I'm going to jump to Zenla now uh, I'll just show you another course I set up as well just to show you so this course has got a one-off cost with download which is 110 and it's also got a one-off cost of 100 so we've got two courses there with different different uh, pricing plans set up within them okay so I'm going to jump to uh, courses now and across to the coupons let's go to coupons and inside here we can add a coupon and now I'm going to call this 10 pound off let's just do this like this okay so description for this I'm going to call it 10 pound off first um, 10 pound off purchase price okay now I've labeled it like that because um, I've got a I'm not going to go one off because there's one I'm not going to go off the first billing subscription because I've got a lot of different pricing plans so I just want to put uh, you get 10 pound off so 10 pound off if they buy the 100 pound one off course if they buy the yearly course they'll get one uh, 10 pound off the first billing okay so uh, down here now we can put the percentage you can put a percentage amount or you can put an amount I'm going to put an amount in here I'm going to call it 10 okay so uh, inside specific products now this is the good bit we're going to go specific products and you can go select products so we're going to go and grab our learn to surf intermediate that has quite a few different options now straight away you're going to see this box come up with course plans and if i come in here you're going to see all of the subscriptions so now you can pick which ones you want so if i want to take 10 pound off just the yearly first billing cycle i can do that um, or I can do it for this and I can go or I could do four payments take it off the first billing of that cycle or apply it to every billing or discounts for first second month or like that so let's just check all of those and I'm also now going to add another course so I'm going to apply this coupon to multiple courses so I'm going to go in here and learn beginners guide which has got two plans set up in here and you're going to see that they'll come up inside here so I can check those like that and check those ones are on as well like that so you can select whichever ones you want in here for a particular cycle so let me just take it off and do uh, leave the four payments and the yearly okay so it won't apply to that but it'll apply to the one-off payments and the one-off with download so I'm not applying it to the yearly subscription or the four payments of 30. So I've got that ability now to select those. So once I've done that, I can go first billing only. Yeah, that's okay. And I'm just gonna click add. So you can see here, because I've got different currencies in some of my packages, it's thrown up an error. So you need to make sure if you're using an amount that you're actually taking the amount off or the, the amount is and the same currency otherwise it says choose discount type as percentage so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump back into my course plans and I'm going to change them all to GPP um, so that they're all the same currency type okay guys so now I have set them all to GPP I'm going to go specific products and I'm going to add these again so I'm going to go this and I'm going to go down to beginners guide and I come into here I'm going to select the one off not the payments and do one off there and one off with download so the yearly subscription and four payments have not got this coupon applied to it so now I've done that um, I can limit the amount or leave the expiry these are all the same as they were before and apply it to the first billing it doesn't matter anyway because they are one-off payments and I'm going to click add 
So that's going to create the code for me, which I'm going to have here. You're going to see now that it's applicable to these products. I'm going to go and grab these links here and we'll just check them out. So what I'm going to do is I'm instead of grabbing the whole link, I'm just going to put the coupon in on the page. OK, so that's a 10, 100 off. <laughs> it says 100 off. Should be 10. OK, let's jump to the page now. And here we are. So I'm going to go into this one, first of all. And we're going to go enrolling course and you're going to see that we have a yearly subscription. If I come into here and I try to redeem my coupon in here and I apply it, you're going to see that there is no change. OK, so it doesn't work in there. Let me just go to my four payment plan where we did not apply it and do the same in here. And again, hit apply and you're going to see it doesn't take anything off. The coupon is invalid. However, if I go to this one here and I apply my coupon inside here and apply, you're going to see that it takes that £10 off. So let's go back to our other course now. This is this one here. And it should apply to both of them. So I'm going to go to buy now. I'm going to apply that coupon in here and apply. And you can see that's taken that off nicely. And we go to this one and redeem the coupon in there and apply and you can see it's removed it again from there so this is a um, very good feature that uh, a lot of you have requested so we have delivered so that is the apply coupons for pricing plans